Hello everyone, I'm so glad that you could join me again. So I've just got out of the shower and I'm fully ready for the day. I've got quite a busy weekend coming up. It's Thursday now and in the morning I'm flying to Birmingham Airport, which is the closest airport to my family home. And it is my dad's surprise 60th birthday. So he doesn't know that I'm going down. Um, he doesn't know that he's having a party. So I'm flying there quite early in the morning. I've got to leave here about 4 a.m. My flight's at 6. So I'm flying there. My mum will pick me up and then I'm going to be hidden away all day and then we'll get ready for the party and he's going to have a really fun time, hopefully. Now, my dad is a little bit of an introvert. He's quite shy, like me. So I think he will be <laughs> quite shocked that he's having a surprise birthday party. But I think that once the shock has settled down, um, he will really have a fun time. My dad is a real party animal and he's uh, often the life and soul of the party once he gets going. So I think he's gonna have a really fun time. And then I'm coming back here on Monday evening, quite late, half past 10 in the evening, my flight gets back to Edinburgh. And then I have to rush off again in the morning to London. So that is gonna be next week's vlog. I've got quite a few meetings in London. I'm going to the Chelsea Flower Show as well, which is gonna be really exciting. So these are going to be two quite vloggy videos. I hope that you'll like them. Uh, and so it's been quite a bit of a stressful time over the last few days. Because dogs aren't allowed to fly domestically in the UK, um, I have to, I've had to organise a sitter for Sophie. And then obviously because I'm travelling back here quite late on Monday evening, then I've got to leave again on Tuesday morning. It's like, how am I going to repack the luggage and I'm going to have clean clothes so I've had to try and sort everything out as well as as well as everything else I have to do with my work. <clears throat> so yeah I think it is going to be quite nice just to get on the plane tomorrow and feel a little bit more relaxed and enjoy myself now that when, when then everything's done. So yes that is the plan for the next few days. I just wanted to also share two products that I've got quite recently. Now these are both not sponsored and they're not gifts. I actually bought these uh, just off my own accord and I've been using them and I love them. So this one, I'm not sure whether you can see, yep, it's called Your Good Skin and this is an SPF 50. And I've talked quite a lot in the past about how I like to use SPF every day. I think it's one of the things that helps to keep my skin youthful. But I've had quite a lot of problems with them as well. I do have sensitive skin and what tends to happen with SPF is that they can be quite irritating and they have a, a scent. This one doesn't have a scent and it does not make my eyes water, which is a real, real godsend because so many of them make my eyes water and I spend the whole day rubbing them and then the cream's going in further. So it just becomes a bit of a nightmare. I've been using this for quite a while and it is very good. So I think this is going to be a keeper. I know that a lot of you do ask me about SPF, so I thought that I would share that with you now and I'll link it in the description so you can check it out. And then I wanted to share this one, which is by Westman Atelier, one of my favorite new brands. Actually, Vanessa got me into this one. It's her favorite brand and I can see why it's really a, a beautiful brand. I just love this. This is a blush stick and it is called Petal. I've wanted this one for quite some time, but it's been sold out um, in my local store. So I finally went yesterday and found it. These, this, this product is just so chic. Look at the way it just clips on like that magnetically. And then you get the cream blush in here and it is just a really creamy, nice blush. I've already got a little bit on, so I'm not gonna to put too much, but I just put it onto my hand and then work it through here like that. And it is creamy, not too, it looks really natural and I'm, I just think it's so nice. Okay, I'm really excited. My new garden bench has just been delivered. That's a little hint of what it's gonna look like. So I'm just going to open and assemble it. I'm really excited. It's one of my favorite things that I've bought.
yes, I'm really happy with this bench. The thing I like the most about it is that it looks kind of weathered and old, which is what I like. Sometimes you can buy new furniture and it looks too new, whereas this one looks like I've got it from some kind of like restoration centre or hardware place where they're selling old things. It looks worn and I think it will probably age well too. Also, it's kind of like a gothic style with these this this art shape which is the same as the wooden trellises which is quite cool I can pretend that was intentional but it wasn't really <laughs> so I think this is a, a beautiful little bench I would like to get a like a window pane mirror for for behind here my next door neighbors actually got that and it looks really gorgeous and when I'm not using this to sit down so I will get a cushion for this a nice big cushion but I think it could also look good in the winter time or when we're not sitting on here we have just like three little toperies on here or some plants to give more um, greenery in color and I just feel so lucky to be able to have my own little garden it's the first time on my own living on my own having my own garden it's really nice to be able to have this extra, it's like having an extra room. Good morning, so it's like 10 minutes to 4 o'clock in the morning. It's dark and I'm ready to go, I've got my luggage here. Cab's coming any minute. Garden bench looking good. Yep, so I'm ready to go. And it is bye-bye house. So I've just arrived at the airport. Literally it took 15 minutes to get here, so I'm too early. I'm probably like two hours early. I usually, when I'm coming, when I'm traveling, I usually just get there an hour earlier. Um, and I've had a few close calls in the past where I've almost missed flights. Sometimes actually I have missed flights. So probably this is better. So I've got my little suitcase and I'm really hungry. I've been up for an hour and a half, so I'd like to get some breakfast. So I'm on the flight now, we're ready to take off pretty soon. Feels like I've been awake for so many hours. I wanted to film in the airport because I was gonna do, I planned to do a little bit of shopping and wanted to get new fragrance and stuff, but it was absolutely insanely busy in the airport. So it was a real good job that I managed to get there quite early, otherwise I probably would have missed my flying. The security was absolutely packed. And then all through the airport it was so busy you couldn't even get a coffee, so it was a bit hectic. But now I'm on the plane and it's not that busy on here, so I'm going to relax. I've got my book to read. I'm going to read this one. Uh, but the flight is literally 45 minutes, so I probably won't be able to read for that long. So I just thought I'd let you know how the party went. As imagined, my dad was really, really surprised. My mom actually thought that he was, he'd um, figured out that he was having a party, but I told her that if he knew there was, he was having a party, he would not be able to hide it because he'd be so nervous. And he was acting so normal before the party that I knew that he didn't know. So when he walked in, he was completely shocked and he looked terrified. But after a few minutes, he soon settled down and he started to enjoy his party. And it lasted till the early hours of the morning. It was really fun. So nice to see a lot of my family. So I saw my grandmother, who I haven't seen since before Christmas time my aunts and uncles and lots of old friends so it was really fun to see everyone and we had such a good time i didn't want to do any filming at the party because it was a very loud party and 
I didn't really want every, you know, it would have been quite intrusive to film everyone and put them on YouTube. And I know a lot of people are not like me and don't want to be on the internet. So I just thought that I would let you know how it went. It was really fun. So it's now Saturday. I'm here till Monday. Um, tomorrow I'm going to go and see my sister's new house and then we're going to go out for lunch. And then on Monday we are going to my sister, me and my mum, we're going to help her find a wedding outfit for my sister's wedding. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, and then I'm heading back to Edinburgh on Monday evening. So, I thought that I would do something quite fun. We're here at my sister and brother-in-law's new house. And I say new house, but it's actually a really old house. This is a Georgian farmhouse. And I think the original part of the house, which you can see there, is actually Tudor. So there are two different styles of house together. And they bought this house a year ago. The last time I was here was a year ago when they first bought it. And whether you can believe it or not, even though it still looks like it's in a bit of a mess, it was even worse than this. And they've done a huge amount of work in the last year. The windows last time were all boarded up. Everything was crumbling away. The roof was in a really, really bad state, so they've replaced the roof, replaced all of the window, wooden windows, and I think the inside is becoming habitable. Word is, is that they're going to be able to move in in August and then start working on the landscaping, but yeah, it's almost ready to move in. I'm so excited for them. This is going to be a beautiful family home. I think this is going to be their forever home. My niece's school, who is, she's five, her school is literally a five minute drive. And also my parents are moving here as well. Not into the main house, they're moving into one of the outbuildings just behind the house. So they're gonna be very close, which for some people would be a nightmare, but actually we all get on, so it's pretty cool. And I think this is gonna be so exciting for them. So I thought that I would give you a little tour I'm waiting for my sister to get here now to show us around. I'm not sure whether we can go in. Maybe we can. Hopefully we can, because I'm dying to see inside. I've never seen the inside of this house before, so I'm hoping that we can go in. But yeah, I thought I'd give you a little tour and show you around. So this is really in the middle of the countryside. It is so peaceful, apart from when aeroplanes are going overhead. And the driveway to get to the actual house is probably about half a mile long, so it's really, really secluded and hidden away. You can see these old outbuildings here. I think they're like old stable blocks, and they're going to be converted into homes, but not just yet. Um, so they're going to have neighbours here, which is nice as well. And then this is the main house, which is a Georgian farmhouse, like I said. And uh, I think the original part of the house, you can see it at the back, I think that's Tudor. So it's two different periods of time and I, th I haven't seen it in this house yet. I'm really excited to go in. I hope we can go in anyway. And I'm really interested to see how the two different styles will work together and how they're gonna make that into a habitable place but, and still try and keep some character, which I'm sure they will. So yeah, this is quite exciting for me as someone who loves houses, architecture, uh, historic buildings. And then over here, we've got uh, a walled garden. So this is an original walled garden. And when I was telling you about my parents' house, that is just here, there. That building there is gonna be their house. So it's a really small house, but they are retired now, almost retired, and all of the children have flown the nest. So they only need a little place. Um, and that overlooks the walled garden here which is completely bare, but has great potential for to become a really beautiful garden. I mean, I don't know what the plans are for this, but if it was my house, I would definitely be making this uh, a, a walled garden with loads of vegetables, flowers, so that we could eat and grow our own. And yeah, that's my mum and dad's new little place which is pretty cute and uh, I haven't been in there either so I'm sure I think they're having I think they're having an extension on here as well because otherwise it will be too small but yeah so it will be nice for them to live together my parents quite often look after my niece they're very close 
So I think they have her over to stay at least like once a week. Yeah, so as you can see, it's still very much under construction, a lot to do. That building over there is going to be converted into more homes. Maybe one day I'll buy one of them so I can be have a country little country place next to my family. But it is really peaceful. As you can see here, there's no noise. It's really quiet. And I think once they start to work on the gardens and this starts to become a home, it really will be a tranquil place filled with nature and lots of lovely stuff. So it's exciting. So luckily we do get to see the interior of the house. This room to the right is going to be an office and then this leads back into the main hallway. To the left we have the family sitting room which is a beautiful room. I love those red double doors which are going to be restored. And then as we go throughout the house you'll notice that there's still a lot to do but I'm sure that it will be finished by August. Going back through to the back hall this goes through to all of the rear rooms. This room here with the big open fireplace is going to be the dining room. And then this leads next door to a uh, powder room and a cloak room. Here going through to the back is a large kitchen. It's a lot bigger than it looks on camera. So that is the old fireplace. I think they're going to turn that into an oven. And yeah, this is the kitchen and there's going to be um, a host of service rooms. So that is like a back staircase. And then through here, we're going to my niece Ava's playroom here at the back of the house. And then the partition that you can see is going to be a boot room because that leads on to um, a rear entrance. So that is going to be a boot room, which is always useful to have. And then as we go through to the very back of the house, this is going to be a pantry, a walk-in pantry, a utility room and a little um, washroom for cleaning off wet dogs, which is also very practical. Okay, so now I'm going to go up the back stairs to have a look upstairs. So the whole of the top floor is going to be my sister and brother-in-law's kind of suite. So this is the bathroom and where she's standing is the closet. And then on the opposite side is the bedroom. And I just love these original beams which are so elegant. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the house. I know that it's kind of difficult to imagine what it's going to look like, but uh, for me, someone who's a real interiors enthusiast, I'm so excited about um, how it's going to turn out. I can really envisage what it's going to look like, so it's really exciting. And my sister told me that I've got my own little suite in the house. So I've got my own little living room with a bathroom and a bedroom. So I've got to come and stay here as much as I want. So hopefully that will give us a lot of content and you'll be able to join me. I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog. I'm heading to London on Tuesday for a lot of meetings and also the Chelsea Flower Show. So I'm going to be vlogging that. And I look forward to seeing you then next week to share that. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.